Hey guys, so long time no see. Ding. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. I am really sorry if you've commented or reached out because I haven't replied. Um, I've been in a really bad place. That's not an excuse, but that's my excuse in this instance. I've been in a really bad place, so um, when I am in a bad place like that, I tend to recluse and just crawl into a ball and not really live. Um, I've actually been doing really well with my eating disorder. So that's good. Um, but my depression and my anxiety have been like, out of this, I just, really bad. Um, so, I'm challenging myself today. I don't, I don't know if I am going to reply to people who I haven't replied to yet. I will, like, eventually, but I just don't know if today is the day that I'll do that. Um, only because, like I, like, I am still really struggling, and I, I'm posting this video as a challenge to myself to just to get something out there, and I... <laughs> I don't know. I'll try to respond, but I can't promise. And but I will definitely respond. Okay. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um. So in my life, <laughs> this is a weird. That is a horrible segue. In my life, I have real two horrible weeks of the year, which is pretty good. Um. So you guys know the first one is like at the end of the year. And then my other one is this week. So uh, they're pretty much essentially exactly six months from each other. So this again, like a nice break in between them as well. So it kind of works out, I guess. Can't complain. Um, but I am going to complain. So I, I don't know if I mentioned when I made the video about my family friend who had passed away. I don't know if I mentioned, but she, her death marks the death of a lot of important people in my life and she's the beginning she's the start of it and today is the end of it so aside from just like personal issues and then like mental issues and whatever I've been dealing with like a lot of anniversaries of people passing and like I said, today's the end of it. So today is my grandpa's one year anniversary. And two days ago was my grandma's. And she didn't die last year though. She passed away a few years, a couple years ago. And then seven days before today is my step great grandmother's passing. And with losing my grandpa, who, like I said, he passed away today, I also lost other people in his, in my life that were in relation to him because um, they didn't want anything to do with us anymore because that he was the tie to us, and they were like, bye. So they're gone. So I, while they're still alive, I, I've lost. It was really only one person. I'm sounding dramatic. It was one person. But I lost another person. Um who was always a part of my life from my birth. So, um, this week is just a lot of losses very close to me. Going on from that, uh, two days ago, my uncle was shot and he died. So, I'm trying to process that, um, and eventually, I don't know, if I probably actually won't share. I would like to share the story, but I just feel like it's not my short story to share. Do you know what I mean? But I think it's a very good story to share, specifically on this channel, but, um, maybe I should, I, I feel like that would be, like, disrespectful to him, so maybe I won't, but... He was shot. He um, he passed away. So I'm dealing with that. I'm processing that. And I just am trying to figure out where these next few days are going to lead me. And it's just like this very weird... It, it's this very weird thing in just that like... I've been anxiously awaiting today because of my grandpa. And like... 
my grandpa is like my whole life and I've been scared of today because I you know I just I set this precedent that it was going to be a horrible day and you know it took away the best person of my entire life and like how am I gonna get through it? and then he passed away so I'm in this place now where it's like I'm grieving him so I'm not in this mental state where I can like actually process that today is the day my grandpa passed away and I feel like I'm disrespecting my grandpa I know I'm not but like I feel like I'm disrespecting my grandpa because I'm not recognizing what are you doing I don't know Sahara Sahara hold on I don't know if I put a thing down for her um so I'm just kind of struggling okay I did because I just, I, like, I just feel really bad because, like, I want to mourn him and I want to grieve him, especially because I didn't necessarily do it when he passed away. Um, and now, it, not that it's, that opportunity is being taken away, because it obviously isn't, but it's just, like, the attention isn't solely on my grandpa, and so it's, actually taken away a lot of the heaviness and a lot of the despair and a lot of the like hurt of focusing solely on my grandpa because it's like I'm hurting so much over my uncle so it's like I just don't have the emotion to feel for my grandpa right now so I don't know it's been a joy ride a hell ride and I've been really struggling I um I've been really struggling. I have been updating on Instagram. So if you've been following there, you kind of know the little ins and outs. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Good girl. She jumped on my bed. She's good. She has stairs and she's like recently become afraid of them. I don't know why. But she did it by herself. Didn't ya? I'm proud of her. Um... So if you guys know, I've been in trouble with my job for like, I don't even understand why. Um, I got my car back this weekend. That was good. I got my dad a funny gift for Father's Day. So that was good. Um, there's been a lot of good things, but my mind has just been defeating me and pulling me down. And it's been really, really hard to claw my way back up and it's like I'm an adult now and I'm in this like professional career and I can't allow my depression and my hurt and my anxiety and everything to kind of stop me from working so like no matter what every single day I have to get up and I have to go to work which is a good thing but it's just like I'm so drained and I'm so exhausted and I'm not fully at work because my mind is everywhere else and it's just really hard and I'm in this you know I work with somebody who never stops talking ever never stops talking and she's very nice but she just never shuts up and I'm a very quiet person and when I am really um, struggling I'm even more internal so I think she thinks I'm like mad at her or something but it's just like I just want to sit with myself you know and it's just like with her there I can't because she's always like chatting and I'm like shut up for fucking five seconds shut up uh, um, <clears throat> um what else is going on struggling mentally I really think that's it I'm just really really struggling a lot and um for Father's Day, I didn't go home, but I went to my grandpa's gravesite, and that was really painful to be there. Um, for a few reasons, like I was crying over him, but then it was Father's Day, so everybody was there, you know. And like there was this, I'm assuming mother and daughter who were sitting, who were in front of me. They came after I did, and they were grieving. 
Um, like I, I look down at my grandpa and then all of a sudden I look back up and the mom who was probably in her sixties was now on the floor. And then like her daughter, uh, was moving to sit on the floor with her. And I was like, Oh, and they were just hysterically crying. And I was like, Oh my God, this is what I feel like. So then that made me cry harder. Now I'm crying for my loss. I'm crying for their loss. I like can fucking deal with it. Um, not a sociopath. So that's good. Got one thing going for me. Um, what else is going on? So I've just been struggling. I don't know how else to word my life. Um, I've been in a very dark place a lot lately. And I have been definitely questioning a lot of things lately. And I've definitely been um, just trying to find the best means of escape. And I, it's just all very complicated and convoluted. And especially because, you know, from her death to today's death, um, there have been so many losses and I have been so down. It's just like, God, I just want to be with them again. And like, I can be, but I can't. So... Honestly, if I didn't have my dog, I don't. She's like my sole reason to exist so many times. Because it's just like, I have to feed her. I have to let her out for a walk. I have to give her water. If I like die, who's going to do that? So, I don't know. Um, it's stressful. I've just been struggling. I felt so bad because I went. My friend invited me on a 5K. And I went with her. And I was just so like, fuck. Like, it was one of my lowest days. Not my low one. No. It was like top 25% of my lowest days. And I was just like, so fucking, like, it was, I can't hide it. So it was just like, I would, well, I can't hide it. I just wasn't trying to hide it. I have to sneeze. Oh, good. Um, I wasn't trying to hide it and so it was very just like awkward and I haven't seen her for a while so it was like it added to the awkwardness because I think she was just like ooh like we're probably not that great of friends anymore whereas I was just like I'd rather be like not anywhere but my bed curled into a ball um what else is going on I don't really feel like there's much um yeah, I, I'm going to be going to Arizona soon. I'm going to be going to Italy soon. Uh, I might be going to Arizona another time. I don't know yet. I have to kind of make up my mind on what I want to do. Um, yeah, life is just very low right now, but I'm hoping like once this month passes, I think it's going to be really good Like after I get out of June because... July, like I'll be going to Arizona, I'll be celebrating a wedding, and then August I'll be going to Italy, and then September is like another month. I'll make something happen that month. Um, maybe I should do that. I just have like something once a month to look forward to. That might be a good idea. So there are things for me to like look forward to. There was one day, I don't, I think I deleted the video, but I woke up at like two in the morning in a panic attack. I was on, I remember it so vividly. I was like on the couch. I fell asleep on the couch. I woke up in a massive panic attack and I just was like hysterically crying because, um, oh my God, I just went blank. Fuck. I don't remember why I was crying, but I know I wanted to die. Why was it? There's a reason. I don't remember, but, yeah, I think I'm going to go, because I don't really know what to say anymore, <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know, sorry this video sucks, I'm sorry again that I haven't responded to you, um, I really don't have a good excuse, I just am, like, weak, um, Yeah. So I will 
hopefully see you guys soon. I don't know. I'm going to try and post this video. And I just, I don't know. I need prayers. So. That's what I keep thinking about as well as like heaven. Not to get religious, I'm sorry, but I'm going to. So, <laughs> um, just like who's together and who's not together and just like is it really as amazing as it seems and I don't know. It was weird though, I was talking to my mom and my mom and I had the same exact thought about my grandpa um, and about like <clears throat> what he's doing in heaven <laughs> today in particular and it was just very strange. So like it kind of like for me it's like that must be it, you know. When um my grandma on her anniversary of her death, we were bringing... Okay, so when my grandma was alive, she was like, do not ever bring me flowers when I'm dead. Like, I don't want you wasting your money. Just, you know, if you want to give me anything, give to me when I'm alive. But I didn't care. Uh, so I went up to my mom because I had this, like, conflict. And I was like, it's grandpa's first anniversary of his death. And I don't want my grandma to feel forgotten. <laughs> like, what? Uh, but this is what's going through my head. So I didn't want my grandma to feel forgotten because it was his first passing and they, you know, they're two days from each other. So, uh, and they were, they were like exes. Um, and so I was like, I think we should bring flowers to grandma's grave. And so we did the next day. So, so it was that whatever day it was. And then the next day was the actual anniversary. So we brought it the next day and my mom told me that, you know, again, like, she didn't really want us to bring flowers, and here we are. So we were bringing artificial flowers, and we went to the craft store, and we were picking out some. And we go into the craft store, and they're giving out free gift cards. So it was, it was just kind of, like, really, like, touching, and because it was just like, ooh, she's here. Because she said, like, don't you spend money on me when I'm dead. And we didn't because now it was it was given to us in the gift cards. We actually made money. So how eerie is that? It's so cool. Um, but there's her grave brings me a lot of peace and like tranquility. Um, so I I do get that at her grave. So that was good to go there. <sighs> and then yeah, I didn't go to my grandpa's grave because. It's a few hours from here. Yeah, I have work today. Um, so I might go this weekend. I don't know. I like, I just feel very conflicted and everything. I'm going to go for real. I'll talk to you guys hopefully soon. Um, and I promise I'll, I will respond to you. I just, I suck. So, sorry. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.